of products on the market. Anyone who's checked out supermarket shelves has been seeing less coloring, that is, in some of their products. They became very trendy a couple of years ago, tapping into the so-called new age mentality. The absence of color screamed purity, but now it's a whisper. Is clear a real benefit or just a gimmick? It all started with the success of bottled water. It became clear what consumers were looking for. The products that say what you see is what you get. And what you seemingly did not get was artificial color, preservatives, or irritants. Consumers felt they were buying a healthier, more natural product. As a result, clear products became extremely popular, a marketer's dream, giving us everything from clear cola and clear beer to clear gasoline. But it didn't take long before consumers began to see through the trend. It turns out that one marketer's dream could be another's nightmare. With me now is Dr. Audrey Gusky. She is the marketing professor at Duquesne University. And thank you so much for joining it's us today, to Dr. Gusky. What happened to the Clear campaign? Well, it's interesting because a lot of products really bombed. Uh, consumers were able to see through it and the trend got rather murky. What ended up happening is consumers have a lot of preconceived notions of what colors products should be, such as beer. They don't like clear beer. Miller tried that. That did not work. Uh -huh. Clear gasoline. Amico tried that. That also bombed as well. We have some clear grape juice here. Somehow that just doesn't do it for it, me. It, it didn't <laughs> cut it. People like the color. But some products have done very well. When you think about Caladril, Caladril, consumers like that because it didn't have the real gunky pink after effect that, that uh, this product used to have, so they enjoyed that very much. Also, the deodorants are very successful because of the clear product and you don't have the white flaky film, so that's done very well. Probably the best success of all the clear products has been Zima, though. Um, Zima is a new product introduced, and so that's why it was more successful in the clear beers, the clear beer. uh, because beers have been on the market for a while and people have ideas of what it should be. What about the clear Crystal Pepsi? Crystal Pepsi. Um, they spent a fortune. They spent a fortune and they also expected to make a billion dollars a year on the sales and unfortunately they only made about a third of that. What ended up happening is consumers just really didn't see any particular benefit to this product. They didn't like the taste and, and they didn't feel that it was any more natural than any of the other products and so they've gone with the regular Pepsis and even though it's done okay because of the tremendous amounts of advertising they've spent, it hasn't done as well as they had hoped. And if they're really that health conscious, they're not going to be drinking soft drinks anyway, right? They're going to be exactly drinking true. fruit juices. Yeah. Um, are there any real health benefits to drinking or using any of the clear products? It really depends on the product. If it's a product that is natural and because of the lack of color, it, it's adding something to that product. But it, my advice to consumers is to, to look at the label and see if it suggests that there's no additives or, okay. or artificial ingredients, then it's probably better for you overall. Okay, so where are we going from here? Well, it's interesting because consumers are, have, have sort of turned their, their faces on these clear products and now they're after color and marketers are splashing the fields with color. We have Fruitopia, we have neon yogurts, so, so really consumers have a lot to look forward to, a lot of bright, brilliant colors. I saw some of those. I mean, it's vanilla yogurt, but it's in Play-Doh colors, so I guess that's our next move. And you know, the only people eating that are the kids. Well, yes. And thank you so much for joining us. It's always fun to hear about the new fads and the fads in our future. My Stacy. All right.